Hello YouTube, this is Fanatic Productions here with another video on tips and tricks in Blender 3D. This tip is going to show you how to make colors or objects, whatever you want to say, glow like this inside of Blender 3D. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and delete everything I have. So go ahead and add whatever shape you want, hold control and drag it up to snap it straight to the um, axis thingy then you want to add another shape or well you don't have to but it's easier to add another shape shape to show that you're doing everything correctly so we're gonna add this on all four sides of the square alright now we got that we want to add a plane just scale the crap out of that and don't change the color of it. Just leave it how it is. Oh, also, what I want to note is that most videos that you see on YouTube will show you how to um, emit light from an object in Blender Render. I'm going to show you how to do it in Blender Render and Cycles Render. So yeah, go ahead and make a color for your cube. We're going to make this white. Just leave it white. Um, what you want to do is change the intensity up a bit, around 775, I skipped, okay, 795, whatever, and you want to emit more light than what it, you can see in the um, actual thing, it changes colors, if you leave it on zero, it's white, like how he left it, change it up, it gets even whiter. So, um, we'll go ahead and add our character, wait, wait character, what? camera, lock camera to view, and position it so we, we can see all colors, I mean all objects. Now if you press F, oh, what I forgot to mention, go to world, indirect lighting, I already have it checked because I just closed everything out, yeah, check indirect lighting in your world view, I mean world, um, what are these called? World properties, and change the passes to two. Every time I try and do this with three or more, it crashes Blender. So we're just going to leave it on two. Press F12, and boom. You got the cube emitting light, and it's actually showing light on the other objects. And I'm not sure if you can see it here, but there's a tiny little shadow right here. So it works with any other color, actually. We're going to change this to uh, Shy Green. You really don't have to change the name of it. It's just to keep everything organized for me. Wait, hold on. Oh, what the heck? Whoops. There we go. I'm going to change the diffuse, not... There we go. Now I press F12. And see, everything is green. You have to change the diffuse, not specular. So, yeah. Now to show you how to do this in Cycles Render. Skip the Cycles Render, go to your objects, get everything you want inside of the scene. Now you take your um, other objects that you want. What the heck? Oh boy, you can't even see anything. Oh, yeah, because it's Cycles Render. Hmm. I just learned something new. But anyway, we'll go ahead and position that on each side. And change our cube. So now we're going to go to green again. Actually, no, we can't use that. No, we can. When you choose the color, make sure you click Use Nodes. Now, it's not talking about the nodes where you open that little thing and connect all the little dots and stuff. I, myself, don't even know how to do that. But basically, you just go to where it says Surface, click Diffuse, and then you want to go to Emission. Emission is Emit. And you can change the strength of it or whatever. We're going to leave it how it was. Actually... Don't change it to zero because it'll go to black. Change that back to green. And if you click 
Control Z, you can see it emits light. It looks way better in Cycles Render. That's just my opinion. Cycles Render actually takes the time to load each sample and everything. I don't know much about Blender Render, but hey, okay. everyone has their little specifics. Put this over here. All right, so F12 have really bad samples. Hold on. Change that to 100. Oh, what? Render again. So yeah, that is how you emit light in Blender Render and Cycles Render. If you didn't understand anything or something that I did, make sure to leave a comment on it and I'll explain it to you. So yeah, that's how you emit light from objects, specifically colors, inside of Blender 3D, Blender Render, and Cycles Render.